over with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it. And if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. Five years had passed since the end of the Tournament of Power, in which all the universes were in absolute peace. Nevertheless, old gods had been eliminated by Xenosam in the same way, had returned to life thanks to the desire that Android 17 had asked the Dragon Balls. At that time, the great Xenosum had granted Goku the position of Supreme Destroyer God, but Goku with his friendly personality would reject it immediately. However, it was convincing him that since the same Daishenkensum was going to offer him a great training, when he is able to overcome the power of both Guardians of Xenosama, this would excite too much to the Saiyan, which accepted with the only condition of not destroying planets where beings of good heart inhabit. With that condition is the only one that I will become the supreme god of destruction. Alright, I accept your condition, my friend Goku. But this didn't please both guardians who did not believe that a mere mortal would put conditions on a king at all. That miserable mortal doesn't deserve the position of supreme destroyer god. Thank you very much, friend. And tomorrow, I'll communicate with Daishenkensama to go to your palace. Alright, I trust you, friend. Goku would spend that day with all his family and loved ones since the training that he would carry out would take a long time, because to be named a supreme god, he had to be able to face all the gods at the same time and defeat them without any difficulty. On that day, Goku would eat his favorite foods, and the next day, he'd say goodbye to all his family and would communicate telepathically with the great priest. Daishenken sama, I'm ready. Ready, Mr. Goku. I will go pick you up right now. Daishenken at that moment opened a portal to planet Earth arriving in a few seconds. I hope you're ready, Mr. Goku, because the training you will be doing is one of the most complicated trainings. I'm ready. I'll do what's necessary to increase my power and be able to protect my family. Goku and Daishenken would arrive to the Kingdom of Everything. At the moment of arrival, Goku would greet both Xenosamas. After talking for a few minutes, Goku was ready to perform his great training. Lord Goku. Your first training will be to master the Ultra Instinct in its entirety, and defeat the Guardians of Xenosama. Okay, Daishenken sama At that moment, Goku and both Guardians would begin to train in the outskirts of the Kingdom of Everything. Both Guardians were not at all happy to have to train this mortal, however, they were the orders of Great Xenosama. And after a few weeks of training, Goku was able to reach the Ultra Instinct, but he wasn't able to master it 100%. You have to try harder. Since your power is still very low, so you'll never be able to be the Supreme Destroyer God. I'm trying my best, but you guys are too fast. I'm not able to keep up with you. After a few weeks, the Saiyan was able to reach the Ultra Instinct to dominate it at will. However, from that moment, his power began to have a slow increase of ki, that is, unlike before, which could overcome its limits with ease, this time he wasn't able to take his body beyond the limit. What's wrong with my body? Why can't I increase my powers anymore? What's wrong, Mr. Goku? Your process has slowed down considerably. Are you not comfortable with training of both guardians? I don't know what's wrong with my body. I can't increase my powers anymore. If I do, it's very minimal form. If you continue with this performance, I'm afraid to tell you that you won't be suitable for the position of the Supreme Destroyer God. I understand, Daishenkensama. Don't worry. Goku at that moment would accede to the Ultra Instinct starting to train with both Guardians again. However, after one more month, Goku's power increased in a significant way. That's right, it seemed not to have increased at all. it, sama it seems that this is my limit as a Saiyan. I'm not able to do anything else. I understand, Mr. Goku. Don't worry, just tell Xenosama and I'll leave him on planet Earth right now. Goku at that moment would say goodbye to Xenosama and ask for an apology. But as Goku is the best friend of the King of Everything, nothing would happen. Xenosama would tell him not to worry that this usually happens sometimes, but not to give up and continue training on planet Earth. Daishenken at that moment would open a portal taking Goku back to his home, however both Guardians were very upset because the sand had made them lose their valuable time. When Goku arrived to planet Earth, he was very thoughtful in questioning why his power was not increasing as before. So at that moment, Goku was going to the planet of Beerus, where he felt the key of Vegeta to ask him about the limits of the Saiyan race. Goku would use his teleportation to arrive in quickly. Hello, Mr. Whis, Mr. Beerus. How have you been all this time? Oh, but it's Mr. Goku. I understand that the High Priest was going to be in charge of training him. What happened? 
Knowing Goku's potential, he's already mastered all the techniques that the High Priest taught him. That's why he's the most powerful warrior in the Universe 7. Goku at that moment, a little sad, would deny everything Beerus said. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Beerus, but it's not like that. It didn't happen. But since I was able to master the Ultra Instinct, my power didn't increase as before. Beerus at that moment would be very surprised since it seemed that Son Goku's power had reached its limit and wouldn't be able to increase it in the great way it used to. But at that moment, an incredible power would be felt all over that place. That's right, the great power belonged to the Saiyan Vegeta who had accessed Ultra Ego. I felt your key, but I didn't think it was you. Your key is very weak compared to before. Are you hiding it? No, Vegeta, that's why I'm here. I don't know what happened, but I'm no longer able to increase my power. Vegeta at that moment would be surprised that he would even return to his base state. What did you say? It can't be possible. The power of a Saiyan knows no limits. I thought by training with the High Priest, you'd be able to reach an amazing level. Well, 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 Mr. Goku is telling us it seems hard to believe, but it seems to be the reality. Something must be going on with your Saiyan cells, because I'm even now able to increase my power much faster than before. Goku, much more depressed, would return to planet Earth to try and understand everything that was happening. However, after all this had a logical explanation, so it is, in the five years that had passed, the six ancient gods had been commissioned to investigate how it was that they came back to life. Realizing the incredible power of Son Goku, that he had been able to master an angelic technique at such a young age, the most powerful god of the six had the order to seal the advance of the Saiyan. At the moment, he had reached the Ultra Instinct to not raise suspicions, even manipulating the Guardians to damage his energy veins at the same time of training. It seems that everything is going perfectly. A Saiyan named Goku is no longer able to increase his power. With the seal that we have put on him, and even the Dazalma Dragon will be able to help him. I think this is excellent. That Saiyan was the only K-1 capable of doing something against us, since he is able to increase his power quickly. Returning to planet Earth, one of the ancient gods were flying over the planet and without warning would charge a gigantic attack, which would be able to reduce the Earth to simple cosmic dust. Goku realizing such a bestial attack would quickly access the Ultra Instinct, and using a large part of his power, was able to deflect such overwhelming power. But the explosion created would be felt by the deities of Universe 7, even by Vegeta, which would quickly head towards the planet Earth, which was the place where the power came from. Who the hell are you? And why do you want to destroy the planet Earth? So you are the Saiyan that reached the Ultra Instinct. I thought you were on the planet of the useless Beerus, but I will have some fun with you. To at that moment would begin to move at an overwhelming speed, starting to give a rain of blows to the Saiyan, who was able to dodge each one of his blows with great difficulty. Well, even though you have sealed the advance of your power, you're still a very powerful being. What do you mean? You've sealed my power? What do you mean you- Wow, so you still don't know. I'll explain it to you quickly. We are the ancient gods, or better known as the rebel gods. We were erased by the kings of everything. But about five years ago, we came back to life. Damn it, it came back to life because of the wish I made on the Super Dragon Balls. But tell me, why did they seal my power? We ancient gods have thought of ending the life of every divine being. But you were the only hindrance, since your power increased in an amazing way. So we decided to seal it with the master of the Ultra Instinct. Damn it, for that reason, I'm no longer able to increase my power. I swear that even with this power, I'll finish you off. At that precise moment, the deities of Universe 7 would arrive and would quickly recognize Toa. But what the hell? If you're Toa, the goddess destroyer of the Universe 5, how the hell are you here? Well, if it isn't Beerus, the laziest god among the 18. Beerus annoyed would throw himself against Toa. However, Toa, taking the battle much more seriously, began to exchange blows with Beerus, which Beerus would get hurt in an exchange. While this was happening, Goku would tell what happened with his power to Whis, who would be very surprised by what Goku said. Mr. Goku, what you have just told me is of utmost importance. If even the ancient gods feel your power, it's because you are destined to be an extremely powerful warrior. Avenge us. What do you mean by that, Whis? That goddess is even more powerful than me. I know that even if we fight together, we have no chance of winning. But you will be the one to finish them off. 
I'll send you to Universe 6 to the planet Saldala. No, Wiss, wait! Wiss at that moment would send Goku to fly at an amazing speed, even being able to cross the universal barrier that existed between each universe. At that moment, Vegeta would access the Ultra Ego, releasing the power to the max. I don't care that you're even more powerful than an angel. I'll not die without a fight. At that moment, Vegeta would communicate telepathically with Goku. Kakarot, the most amazing warrior I've ever met. I hope that when this is all over, you'll revive us. I'll be training in the other world, and I want that battle that we never had. At that moment, Vegeta and Whis rushed against Toa, which without any effort, just with the life of each of them, including the planet Earth, at that time that Goku arrived at the planet Sadala, was unconscious and very badly injured. But Khalifa would find him realizing that it was the Saiyan of Universe 7. Wow, but if you're the old man of Goku, I don't know what you're doing here. But you're very serious. I'll help you heal your wounds so that you can train me. Khalifa would take the body of Goku, leaving that place. Khalifa had been able to find Goku, taking him with her. At that moment of arriving to Khalifa's lair, she would lie him down on a bed so that he would be able to heal all his wounds. However, at that moment, Kale would arrive, being very surprised to observe the most powerful Saiyan of the 12 universes in those terrible conditions. Sister Khalifa, what happened to Mr. Goku? How is it possible that the most powerful Saiyan of the 12 universes is in that condition? I don't know, Kale, but the being that did this to him must be an extremely powerful subject, since he was able to defeat the old man Goku, and he has mastered a technique that even the gods wish to master it. Sister, we better call Kaba. He must know what we can give to Mr. Goku so that he can recover. Excellent idea, Kale. Go look for that good for nothing. Kale at that moment would go away at a great speed. That's right, all the warriors of the 12 universes at the end of the Tournament of Power had continued with their training to be able to be one of the strongest universes. So the strength, speed, and endurance of each of them had increased in an amazing way. At that moment, Kale would arrive accompanied by Kaba, which in the same way would be very astonished to realize the conditions that Goku was in. What happened to Mr. Goku? We don't know, but we have tried to pass energy to him and his body rejects it. We want to know if he had some kind of medicine that could help him. The only one that has that kind of medicine is Hit, a legendary assassin. We were partners in the Tournament of Power, so I doubt he'll refuse to communicate with you. Because if this old man dies, I won't be able to reach the Super Saiyan Blue. Cab at that moment would start trying to communicate telepathically with Hit, succeeding in doing so. What the hell do you want, Kaba? I haven't heard from you since the tournament ended five years ago. Hit, please help us. We have Mr. Goku's body here on our planet, and it's in a fatal condition. If we don't do something here, he'll die. Hit, just like everyone else, would be very surprised because Son Goku even surpassed his power. At that very moment, I'm heading there. Hit was on a planet doing one of his jobs as a mercenary, so he killed the planet's boss with a lethal blow to the heart and quickly set off across the universe until he reached the planet of the Saiyans. What happened to him? How could a being as powerful as Goku be left in this condition? Hit would be taking out some spheres, something unusual. However, at that moment, he would eat them, being vain since Goku's body did not respond and he didn't be able to eat anything. Damn it, it's my turn to give him the divine water. Hit at that moment would take out a beautiful bottle and would throw a large amount of water in the mouth of the Saiyan. What was that, Hit? It is divine water, one that I've collected in one of my many missions. But this has been the best reward that I've obtained since it is able to heal any wound no matter what divine rank it possesses. At that moment, Goku began to vomit too much blood. That's right, being able to even stain the entire floor. However, after a few moments, Goku would be out of his combat again. Hit, was that a good or a bad sign? I really don't know, Khalifa. It's the first time something like this has been happening. A few days would pass, however, Goku's body would show no signs of life. Meanwhile, in Universe 7, everything was totally destroyed, or better said, everything was at a complete atom. Since there was no planets or galaxies, everything had been destroyed by Toa. How boring. I'd better go back to my other companions. I have nothing interesting to do in this place. Toa at that beginning of the moment would be at incredible speed, gathering in Universe 18, which was the most powerful of all. At the moment of Ryan, a, a being of extremely intimidating appearance would stand in front of Toa. Toa, 
You have eliminated all of Universe 7, but have you eliminated the Saiyan? No, I haven't eliminated him since the damn angel was able to send him to another universe. But we should worry, since his power is sealed. The guy named Akuma would expel a large part of his power, making Toa very nervous. That's right, the power he was releasing was amazing. Damn it, Toa. I warned you that with a Saiyan race, you shouldn't trust. Right now, I want you to go back and finish off that damn Saiyan. We can't fail this time. As you command, Akumo-sama, I'm so sorry. I'll finish off Son Goku quickly and come back. At that moment, Toa would return precisely to Universe 7 and begin to follow some trace of Goku's energy. But it would be useless since his key had completely disappeared. Meanwhile, with Goku, he still didn't wake up, but his whole body began to be filled with a great amount of energy. That's right, without anyone noticing, Goku's body was accumulating an incredible power. Since the substances that Goku expelled from his body weeks ago was a demonic paradise, which infested and destroyed the energy veins of its bearer, leaving him completely useless in the battlefield. But when Hit granted him the divine water, he was able to expel every particle of the seal that the ancient gods had placed on him, starting his energy to run through his body normally, and even the power that before he had not been able to release with the training of Daishenken and the Guardians this time was flowing. Returning to the ruins of Universe 7, Toa at that precise moment would feel a small essence of Goku's power. So, you're still alive. Apparently, you're a somewhat difficult subject to finish. But now, with my own eyes, I'll witness your damn death. Toa at lightning speed would begin to move across the universe, being able to cross the universal barrel of Universe 7 to 6. At the time of doing so, would quickly reach the planet of the Saiyans, where the essence of Goku was even more powerful. So you are hiding in this damn place. Miserable mortal, your time to die has come. Toa, at that moment, with his great power, would be able to create a powerful dragon attack which was heading quickly towards the planet, but a powerful attack would be able to counter it. Mythical Dragon Killer. A similar dragon of power would come out of Hit's entire body, starting to collide with each other, but at that moment, both attacks would scatter into thousands of lightning bolts. Wow. What do we have here? A being that proclaims himself as an assassin. Hm. How interesting. I don't want anything from you. If you want to give me the saying hiding in that house, I'll leave without destroying anything. Not at all. So you're the one who left Goku in that condition. Because of him, I'll defeat you. Because thanks to him, we have all come back to life. Hit and Toe at that moment began a close battle which could not be seen a clear winner. However, the powerful assassin was overshadowed by the power of the goddess Toa, which in each exchange of blows increased much more in power, beginning to cause great damage to Hit. In a moment, Hit would be able to use his jump in time, taking a little distance to communicate telepathically with Khalifa. Khalifa and Kale, get out of this place. This goddess wants to kill Son Goku. It must be for an important reason. We can't let her kill him. Keep giving him this to him. Hit at that moment would throw the divine water at both girls, and at that moment, he would use time jump again, but at an extreme level which had taken away 50% of his current power, being able to send the three warriors far away from that planet. It doesn't matter if you finish me off, Goku is safe now. Damn worm, you're nothing compared to me, and you have been able to make me angry. I will play with you until you confess to me where you sent son Goku. The three warriors had arrived to an inhospitable planet in which Khalifa would again make Goku drink the divine water. But this time, nothing would happen. That's so right, Goku would remain unconscious. Kale, I can't let him fight alone, because if he falls, all the beings of Universe 6 will fall with him. We must do something. I'm ready, sister. We'll become very powerful, and if we make the fusion, we'll be able to face him. Kale and Khalifa at that moment would make a fusion, giving birth again to Kelfa. and at a great speed would go towards the battlefield observing Hit in a terrible condition. Unable to do anything, Kelfa at that moment would give him a great kick, when realizing that Toa had been able to cover herself in spite of attacking her from his, her blind spot. Damn it, Kelfa. Even though you fused, you won't be able to do anything. I don't care about that. I'm not going to run away like a coward while my capital is being completely humiliated. You are a true Saiyan. 
hitting Kalfa at that moment would rush towards Toa, being able to give him a few blows. However, for the goddess, those blows wouldn't have any effect. Starting to attack in the same way, but the blows that she connected to both warriors caused an incredible damage. At that moment, Toa would increase power to 45%. I was never forced to use more than 50% of my power with you, but now I will finish with every planet in this universe, so that Son Goku will also die. Toa at that moment would begin to gather a great amount of energy, however, Hit and Kalfa would not be left behind, since at that moment both would launch an attack to prevent him to finish the charging of his definitive technique. However, each attempt would be useless. Divine Destroyer! Universal Annihilation! At that moment, a great sphere of energy would come out of Toa's hands and would take a form of a golden dragon. That's right, the attack was so powerful that even everything around him would be destroyed. Hit and Kelfa launch their most powerful techniques, but the dragon will pulverize them completely. It seems that this has been our end. If we have to die, we'll die together with the pride of a warrior. At that moment, that powerful dragon was about to hit them. At his back, he would hear a resounding, Hit! From the Heavenly Dragon! Divine Annulment! At that moment, an incredible silver-colored dragon would be able to be observed and reduce Toa's powerful attack to simple atoms. But Goku's attack would not end, since the Great Dragon continued towards Toa, who at that moment was dodging it would be surprised to witness how the dragon would do the same and would hit her directly. And Toa had to use 70% of all her power to not be so affected by this incredible attack. Who the hell was it? A guardian angel? Since that attack was on an angelic scale. At that moment, you could see Goku's silver eyes with a very serious look. Of course it wasn't an angel. It was me, a simple mortal. Th th this is impossible. Your power was sealed. No matter what you do, this place will be your grave. At that moment, Goku would return to watch Hit and Kalfa. Thank you very much for taking care of me all this time. Now, take care of the simple goddess. Toa was about to make a move, but at that moment, a great sword would fall from the sky, completely neutralizing her. Come Toa in. had been completely neutralized. That's right, Goku's power had increased in an amazing way. Toa, at that moment, would invoke hundreds of spears to kill son Goku. However, Goku was able to dodge each one of the energy arrows. No matter what you do, Toa, you won't have the power to finish me off. Even if I release my sword, you won't be able to do anything to me. It doesn't matter what you do. I'll finish you off, you damn insect. Toa at that moment would expel so much power, being able to cause a great explosion with which he would be able to destroy the back which had neutralized it. Toa at that moment, in spite of the dust raised, would rush against Goku, who was able to dodge each one of his blows without any difficulty. That's right, Goku had transcended the state beyond a god. Being able to dodge the attacks of the Destroyer God of Universe 15, Toa Furious at that moment would throw a large sphere of energy, but Goku, only with stretching out one of his hands, would make it disappear. How is it possible that you've become so powerful in such a short time? I have no explanation for what happened to me, but apparently the seal had been completely broken, and all the power that was sealed to me has returned. That's right, the power that I had gotten from Daishenkin Sum has returned. This can't be happening. It must be a nightmare. Yes, that's right. It's a damn nightmare. No one has been able to break free from the Supreme Seal. Remember that I'm the mortal who overcame the gods, and you are no exception. Goku at that moment launched himself against Toa, starting to give him some excellent blows, being able to cause him incredible damage to each exchange. That's right, the roles have been completely reversed since this time it was Goku who dominated the battle at all, and without any difficulty. That moment, in a slight more secluded place, the merger had ended and would return to be Kale and Khalifa. How is it possible that Goku's old man has all this power? I don't know, Khalifa, but Para is capable of killing us in a few seconds. I don't know, Hit. It looks like that woman just got a lot weaker. She's still just as powerful. If we get out of this energy field that Goku created, we would be crushed just by her simple pressure. It looks like that woman is weak, since Goku's power surpasses her by dozens of times. Goku would continue to humiliate Toa, to such an extent that Toa would choose to use 100% of all her power. 
I never thought I would use all 100% of my power, much less with a mere mortal, but I won't let you get away with it. Right now, I'll finish you off, and you'll beg me to end your life. I want to see if you can do it. Since you can say a thousand things, but you'll have the power to defeat me? Ha! <laughs> I doubt it. You're no worse than an insect. Toa was much more furious, would raise her power to the max. Reaching 100% of all her power, and at that moment, would throw herself against Goku, who in spite of the fact that Toa had increased her power to the max, was able to dodge a furative blow. At that instant, Goku would begin to dodge each one of Toa's blows, and this, the only thing that made Toa more and more furious, was that he became more and more enraged. Damn it! Stay still! If you wanted me to stay still, I will! Let's see what you can do some damage with your best punch. Toa at that moment would smile and charge all her power in her fist. No, damn it. What are you supposed to do, Goku? Toa's powerful punch would be able to hit Goku directly, creating a great chaos around him, since the power had been so much that even rocks around him had been destroyed by the simple slingshot of air created by the blow. I'm finally done with you. That's what you get for underestimating me, you bastard. <laughs> I can see you're capable of destroying entire universes with amazing ease, but you're not capable of destroying a single Saiyan. Toa at that moment would take a few steps back, realizing that in front of her was a real monster who was capable of ending her life. That expression was what I wanted to see. You're terrified, confused, or both. You don't know how long I waited for you to see that. Toa, at that moment, would start to fly at a great speed trying to escape. Goku would remain standing at that place, but at that moment, he would disappear in front of Toa and would collide with his chest. Don't think you're destroying my universe that has no consequences. Now, I'll be the one to finish you. Goku in that same instant would begin to give the beating of his life to Toa, which on this occasion was no longer able to defend herself. That's right, the power had increased in an incredible way. While the power of Goku was consistently increasing, Goku, after humiliating her after a few minutes, would throw a powerful attack which would send it throughout the universe. That's enough! Goku at that moment would stand in front of Hit, Khalifa, and Kale, and at that moment he would use teleportation and appear where Kaba was standing. Sir Goku has finally completely recovered. Goku at that moment would return to his base state, but this time he was much more serious because he knew that if he was confident, a much more powerful being would finish them off. Khalifa, since that battle, had been amazed with Goku. Goku, do you know why those guys want to kill you? I don't know, Hit, but we must increase our powers to be extremely powerful beings. At that moment, Goku, a little confused in the same way, would ask a few explanations of how he had arrived to the planet. Khalifa would explain everything that had happened. Goku, a little blushing, would smile since he had felt the attraction towards the Saiyan woman. Goku, at that moment, would tell himself, What is this that I feel? I'd never experienced it before. Goku would give it importance, but the Saiyans had quite a unique connections, which would not be overlooked. However, this time they were all the much more greater danger, so they put aside what they both felt. It'll be better to train in rooms designed for the training of a god or even an angel. I agree with you, Goku, but where are we going to get this kind of room? Don't worry about that. I trained with the High Priest, and at the time I wasn't able to master his techniques, but now I'm sure I'll be able to do it. Goku at that moment would begin to access the Ultra Instinct, beginning to raise his power to the limit. At that moment, with his great power and remembering the teachings of his master, was able to form two amazing rooms. This would leave much more captivated Khalifa with uh, felt more and more adoration and love towards Goku. But Goku, why did you create two rooms? What do you plan to do? You hit! Being a legendary assassin, we'll train Kale and Kaba, and I'll personally train Khalifa. It didn't like the idea, but he'd accept anyways. At that moment, everyone entered the designated rooms. At the moment of entering, both sides without wasting time would train arduously. However, in the training that Goku and Khalifa that were taking, every moment were becoming much closer until a certain day arrived in which both would give each other a kiss for the first time. Time later, in which both had continued training in the same way, some years had already passed, which Goku and Khalifa became completely close, to the point of being sure of wanting to be together. Khalifa, I don't know what I feel, but I've never felt this way before anyone. Goku, neither have I. You're the first man I've ever felt this good with. You're very powerful. I love that about you. When this is all over, we can talk about what will happen to us. 
But for now, we have to increase our powers. I agree with you, Goku. Goku in all that time had been in that place, he'd been able to teach Khalifa all the divine transformations. Being able to make Khalifa reach the Ultra Instinct only when her body feels in total danger. He still didn't control it 100%. Meanwhile, with the training of Hit in both Saiyans, Kale and Kaba in the same way had managed to master the state of a god. Kaba accessing the Super Saiyan Blue, but in the case of Kale was something totally different. Because although his state was the legendary Super Saiyan, his hair color didn't change in the least. This is strange, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that you have increased your battle level. After two more years passed, and approximately eight days had passed since they entered the outside world, Toa in the space, very badly injured on the verge of death, would be able to communicate with Akumo. Akumo-sama, please help me. I'm on the verge of death, and I'm not able to regenerate myself since I don't have any energy. Akumo would say to himself, How is this possible? Did the angel and god of some universe attack her? No, but this is no logical reason since Toa's power is capable of wiping out any angel. At that moment, Akuma would come to his thoughts. Yester, immediately, go to the northern end of Universe 6 and bring Toa. It seems she's on the verge of death. But my lord, how is this possible? I don't know, Yester, but go immediately since Toa shouldn't have too much time left. Yester at that moment would disappear towards the point where Toa's energy was felt, which was about to disappear. At the moment of arriving, he would transmit a part of his energy, and in the same way, he would return quickly. At that moment of arriving, among the six rebel gods that began to pass him key, so that he would be able to recover the gift of healing. Nevertheless, one of the six rebel gods was bursting with anger. I don't know who the hell you are. But I swear that I'll finish with that damned one that has left my wife in these conditions. If you mess with her, I'll finish you, you miserable one. At that moment, the entire Universe 18 was engulfed in flames. Lightning, lightning, even the planets that were around them were turning into simple ashes. Cantor, calm down. We don't know what happened and clearly we'll have revenge for this, but you must calm down. Meanwhile, in the special rooms, two days had passed, in which all the warriors would come out causing an incredible tremor through the 18 universes. Even such power would reach the entire realm. Whose powers are these? But two of them are the ones that stood out the most. In the 18th universe, Akuma would stand up. This power is of a punisher level warrior. At that moment, Toa would open her eyes, but had an expression of absolute fear and would start screaming. Those eyes! Those eyes! I won't forget those ice cold silver eyes. I don't want to fight him anymore. He's a monster. My dear, tell me who did this to you. I'll personally take care of ending his life. No, no one can. We should never mess with him. It was better to end his life instead of sealing his power. Back to Goku and the others. So, Toa has arrived with the other gods. I have a surprise for you. At that moment, Toa's body would begin to inflate like a balloon. Infernal explosion! A great explosion would be created all over that place where the rebel gods were. A great explosion would be created in all of the universe 18, because the body of Toa had been filled with an incredible celestial power, only waiting for the order of Goku to be exploded completely. At that moment, Akuma and Yamoshi were the only supreme gods which were able to react. At that moment, the other three gods had received such explosion, being very badly injured and on the verge of death. After a few minutes and the dust ended, blood was observed all around. Damn it! I swear we'll exterminate you! I'll avenge the death of my wife! You'll be no match for the first two Saiyan gods! At that moment, both rebel gods would launch hundreds of energy arrows towards the three gods who were about to die. I won't let her death be in vain. With her powers, we'll be able to still defeat that cursed one. At that moment, all the power of the three gods would begin to enter the body of both gods, which their energy veins were being filled with an overwhelming power. At that moment, Yamoshi would begin to transform, even surpassing his legendary state which gave off an unreal power while Akumo, to release a large part of his power, would create different disasters for all 18 universes. At that same moment, his power would also be felt by the great priest Daishenkin-sama. This power? No, no, this is impossible. 
The rebel gods were eliminated by the king of everything. This must be a damn nightmare. However, in that same instant, an incredibly amazing power would be felt by all the 18 universes. But unlike this disgusting power, the power that was felt this time was warm and angelic. That's right, Son Goku was releasing his power to the maximum, with which he would also leave Daishenkin Sama surprised. This is the very power of Lord Goku. I can't believe it. I thought he had reached his limit and for that very reason had left. But his power now even equals the power of the rebel gods. Returning to Goku and the warriors of Universe 6 at that time, they had all achieved great powers in which even Goku and Hit were able to defeat the Guardian Angels without any difficulty, while for Kale, Kaba, and Khalifa, it was a little difficult. I am very proud of all you guys! Now it'll be time for us to put an end to all this, since I only feel the power of two rebel gods. Their power must be amazing, since the explosion you created with your energy was on another level, and apparently the other three gods have died. That's right! My Goku's amazing! He'll be the supreme god of destruction! Goku at that moment would put on a very serious look. I don't want to be confident because of the power of both guys is still rising in an amazing way. It seems that it has no limit. At that moment, a great roar would be made for all the divine beings falling to their knees. That's right, at this precise moment, all the powers of the three gods had merged completely with the power of both gods, which at that moment, with an ancient technique, were able to change dimension. And at that moment, their key would disappear. Apparently, those guys want to dominate all the power they've obtained, and I can deduce that they have absorbed the power of their companions. There they are, Goku. Are we ready to finish with those guys? Of course we are. They fear me, and with their help, nothing and nobody would be able to confront us. At that moment, a portal would be created in front of them. That's right, it was Daishank and Sama. Master, long time no see. Goku, I can see you've recovered your ability to increase your power quickly, but tell me what happened. Goku at that moment began to explain everything that had happened to Daishank and Sama, who would be very surprised that it has been their plan to seal Son Goku's power. Goku, I've asked all the Destroyer Gods to stay out of all this, because even the Angels have been defeated by both gods. Don't worry, Daishenkin Sama. This time we'll be able to defeat them. They won't stand a chance against us anymore. At that moment, Daishenkin would leave that place, a new portal would be created, and the energy was a negative one that was created in front of him, from which both gods would come out. What? How is it possible that you trained in a matter of minutes? It was just minutes for you, but it is an ancient technique for a reason. In that place, we trained for 15 years. That's right! While we're in that place, it only took 15 minutes. We controlled all our powers in 15 years, and I'll make you pay for the death of my wife. Yamoshi at that moment would begin to increase his power to the maximum. The disasters he created were amazing, even leaving everyone surprised by the powers he felt. Daishaka would try to return, however at that moment, it was impossible, since both gods had created a powerful barrier, which no being had the necessary power to eliminate it. At that moment, Akuma would stand in front of Goku while Yamoshi in front of Hit. I'll finish you quickly. So between me and Akumo, torture that bastard. We'll make him beg for his life. Goku at that moment would begin to increase his power to the maximum. That's right, he did not plan to be confident. All the planets of Universe 6 began to be destroyed by such power. That's right, at that moment, the power of Goku was increasing in an amazing way. That's right, Goku has accessed his most powerful transformations so far, making him return to his most primitive state. At that moment of a great explosion could be seen Goku in his transformation of Divine Super Saiyan 4. I'm even prepared to give my life to finish you, but in this battle, it'll be you two against us two. At that moment, Goku quickly turned around and stretched out one of his hands, throwing a great energy towards the three Saiyans who were not able to dodge that attack. However, at that attack was special because it was able to cross the barrier of the rebel gods. This battle be difficult. You must not die. Goku and Hit at that moment launched themselves against both gods, which started with a very even battle. However, even though Hit was using all his assassination techniques, it was not able to cause any great damage to Yamoshi, who in each exchange of blows was able to cause great damage to Hit. While Goku and Akumo were very evenly matched, 
both connected very powerful blows, which destroyed the few planets that remained of Universe 6. The power they're giving off is incredible. Even Xenosama wasn't able to do anything this time, and since their powers have increased in an amazing way. In that moment, Xenosama together with his guardians would arrive at Daishenkin's side. This is a megaversal alert. The two most powerful gods are still alive, and apparently they have absorbed the power of the other gods. You're right. This time, the only one capable of doing anything against those gods is Son Goku. Returning to the battlefield, he was more wounded as the battle progressed. That is, he didn't have the necessary power to continue with the battle. However, at that moment, Goku was able to send Akumo to fly. With a great kick, he'd send Yamoshi to fly. Hit! Communicate with Daishenkin! Ask all the gods and angels to give you their power so that you'll be able to continue. Even though I'm very powerful, I won't be able to face both of them at the same time. But I'll be able to distract them for five minutes. I understand, Goku. Thank you for this opening you've given me. At that moment, Hit was beginning to communicate with all the divine beings so that they would give him some of their powers. At that moment, all the divine beings gave him a single drop of their energy sea. Yamoshi was the first to notice trying to stop him. However, Goku was not a warrior who can easily be defeated. That is, Goku was fighting a battle of both gods. Damn worm! Get this! Galactic Devourer! At that moment, an incredible power would come out of Yamoshi's mouth, which was directed towards Goku, who at that last second was able to use teleportation, appearing to the side of Kumo, managing to give him a sneaky blow while with the three Saiyans they were furious, because they didn't let them participate in this incredible battle. Damn it! Goku doesn't trust the power I've obtained! Khalifa, you're the most powerful Saiyan warrior I've ever met, and I'm sure it's not the reason, but we must trust Mr. Goku. At that moment, Hit was filling with amazing power. Goku was doing everything necessary to withstand against both rebel gods. However, his whole body was wearing out in an incredible way. At that moment, a powerful power had rumbled the entire Universe 6. At that moment, Hit was blasted with blows that could send flying hundreds of meters across the universe. Goku, use the same technique you used against Jiren. I'll distract them enough. Because even with this power, I won't be able to defeat them. Got it, Hit. I'm counting on you. Goku at that moment would return to his base state, starting to gather a great amount of energy. That's right, Goku was forming the Genkidama. At that moment, all the beings of the 18 universes began to send great parts of their powers to be able to finish with the life of both supreme gods. Gods and angels, Son Goku needs our help. So let's give him all the power we can because if they fall, all the universes will be destroyed. At that moment, millions of energies began to form the ultimate technique of Goku. That's right, all the universes were sending their power to Goku. Son Goku, you have the most powerful warrior of all the universes. To you, I entrust my power. Mortal of Universe 7, who will even become a supreme god, you have my full support. Get all the power of the destroyer god of Universe 11. That's right, all the gods and angels in the same way began to send their power. Goku's technique was increasing in size rapidly. While Hit was in a brutal battle between the two rebel gods, this time Hit was able to cause incredible damage to both beings. That's right, the power he possessed was unbelievable. Damn it, we must do something. Because if that guy completes his technique, he'll be able to finish this off completely. I agree with you. So we must finish this wretch off quickly. Both gods, in spite of using their maximum power, they were not able to overcome Hit's incredible defense. However, his power was decreasing every minute. And with this, the effectiveness of his blows was decreasing as well. At that moment, Yamoshi was able to connect a strong blow which would send Hit to fly to a planet being very badly wounded. I'll not let Son Goku be interrupted. He must complete his technique. Hit at that moment again would throw himself against the gods, but this time he was no longer able to do anything. That is, Hit would fall to the ground on the verge of death. Without being able to do anything, both warriors at that moment would charge an amazing power, throwing it towards Goku. However, at that moment, something amazing would be observed throughout the universes. That's right, Goku is absorbing the power of Genkidama. 
raising his key to incredible levels. So much so that even his power had disappeared for everyone. Goku had been able to take his power to the level beyond a king of everything. At that moment, Goku with a simple aura was able to disintegrate all the power of both gods. Thank you very much, 18 universes. And to you, Hit, that you gave me the necessary time to create my technique. Now you can leave the rest to me. Goku at that moment, without wasting time, would launch himself against both gods, starting to give them a great beating, which were not able to observe the blows of Goku since his speed was amazing. This power will not last long. It'll be better to finish them once and for all. Receives this, Divine Dragon God. At that moment, an incredible dragon of white color was able to be observed by all the universes, even destroying the barrier of the gods both gods would carry a power, but the attack of Goku was on another level, being able to destroy everything around him, even ending the life of the two beings more powerful than a king of everything. Finally, it's over! Tell me, what is your wish? I wish that you bring to life all the beings that the rebel gods killed. At that moment, the eyes of the great dragon would be unlimited, being able to bring to life even all the Z warriors, Xenosama at that moment, would also name Goku as the new super god of destruction. At that moment, Beerus and Whis would also arrive. Mr. Goku, I congratulate you for your new position as super god of destruction. Kakarot always trusted you. You're a pride of our race. This is how Goku had become the new super god of destruction, next to Khalifa, with whom he wished to have a full and lasting life.